Hello and welcome to Pete Tong TV uh, with me, Pete Tong. Uh, I've just been in Ibiza for a couple of days preparing for the IMS and I come back here and we're under a foot of snow, uh, which is quite good actually because I'm about to go to Moscow, so it's good preparation. Uh, on this week's show anyway, uh, we have Beyonce, the Japanese pop stars, the prodigy, uh, the collective that is known as NASA. We also catch up with Kate Morose from uh, Isomorph Records for a bit of a chat and uh, we'll have this week's Bedroom Bedlam chart. First though, this is a homage to the late great Tony Hart, he used to draw on that program Program vision on if you're that old. Uh, this is Rex the dog and the magnificent Bubblicious. Rex the Dog and the video for Bubblicious is new single and this is number three on the all new uh, Bedroom Bedlam chart for this week. This is Troubled Children, a joint venture from uh, DJ Sereno and Club for Life and this is called Blitz. Number three on this week's Bedroom Bedlam chart. Time now for our intimate chat this week. It's with Kate Morose from Isomorph Records. Uh, you don't know her, uh, I didn't know her really either, uh, but she is campaigning to get good looking vinyl back on the shelves and we like this idea. Hi, I'm Kate Morose. I run Isomorph Records and um, the Umbrella ISO, which uh, art directs musical projects. I started Isomorph Records in 2007 and at the end of 2007, um, and before that I'd been working a lot in the music industry designing uh, merchandise and sleeves and websites and all sorts of things for artists and musicians and because I wanted to start fit making the physical releases myself I decided to pump the money that I had earned from my freelance career as an illustrator and graphic designer into making pressed records and physical products that people could buy. I realised as a collector of vinyl that people had become quite lazy and because vinyl had become so expensive to manufacture that people started cutting corners and not actually investing in the phys physicality of, of the music. So I contacted a really amazing specialist producer and we started working together to make really, really beautiful records that were collectible, shelvable and almost fetish items that people would feel would be valuable to keep forever and I think that's my, my biggest achievement within, within the records I've made so far. I think through simple design but careful choices of materials, manufacturers, processes, we've created some really, really desirable items. The second release on Isomorphs was the Hearts Revolution Switchblade EP which we've coined the unphotographable record because it's almost impossible to capture with a camera. In terms of the processes we did things like reverse out the board so that you have the matte side and then inside you can see there's a, a neon strike which glows when you take the record out the sleeve. And then we've got milky pink vinyl where we've matched the uh, pink value on the um, in the label to the vinyl colour which is practically impossible to do. And then the second record we did was actually through Hearts Revolution because they were touring with uh, Midnight Juggernauts and we made this black on black 7 inch. What made this record really special was the um, poster 
which we sell separately and with the vinyl and it's a kind of triangular landscape with the Midnight Dragonauts typeface running across it and this is a black foil on black card. More from the lady who's trying to put uh, art and vinyl back on the walls and back on the shelves. We like that idea. Uh, now, uh, the most unlikely combination in uh, electronic and pop music today. Uh, this is like sticking caviar in the tomato sauce. This is the Japanese pop stars uh, teaming up with Beyonce and single ladies. You know the crazy thing about that? It actually works, so I guess it's not so crazy after all. The Japanese pop stars remix of Single Ladies from Beyonce, and this is number two on this week's Bedroom Bedlam chart. This is Mike Young, a classically trained musician who plays in many clubs in Hollywood. Uh, his composition is called uh, Connection. Number two on this week's Bedroom Bedlam chart. Thank you so much for all your submissions. Please keep sending your new tracks that you're making at home, in your bedroom, in your bathroom, uh, to the address on the screen now. Now, uh, one of the most anticipated and uh, welcome events of 2009 is uh, the fact that we have a brand new album from The Prodigy. Keith, Liam and Maxim are back in full effect on top form. This is the brand new video for their single, The Omen. Prodigy are back, that is the new video for The Omen. Uh, Keith, didn't your mother ever tell you it's rude to stick your tongue out? Uh, we go from The Prodigy uh, to this lot, a brand new American act called NASA. They're more of a collective, really. Uh, this track features uh, David Byrne, Chuck D, Ras Congo, Brazilian artist So George, and Z Trip, and it is called Money, and we think it's rather good.
That was money from uh, NASA, uh, NASA, but not the space crew. Uh, check out their MySpace, they're making very interesting music. Right, let's get back to Kate Morose. It's the lady who makes great sleeves, uh, and she's behind Isomorph Records. Here she is. Because I'd been working as a graphic designer, but mostly for musicians, I decided to set up a company under the Isomorph Records banner, which is called ISO, where I work with bands closely to develop all parts of their musical endeavours. So we, we really try and focus on building the relationship between the, the band, their viewers, and also keeping in mind what labels and marketing want. As an art director, I can go in and help the label and the marketing team develop the artist's visual kind of aesthetic and what they put out to their fans and pay close attention to the design and the products that they can sell and the whole experience. So even down to live shows and every single detail we try and cover an art director as much as possible so that we have a really great product to, to get out to music lovers. My most recent project with Isomorphs was to create a t-shirt label because we liked a lot of bands that were already signed. We wanted to still work with them and create things for them so we couldn't press records but we could make them t-shirts. So it started with uh, my friend's band, uh, Telepathy, from New York, and we made them a uh, double printed shirt, and it's under the uh, ISO uh, clothing label line. Um, and since then, um, I've been art directing for a band called Simi Mobile Disco, and creating um, everything for them this year, music videos, websites, all, all sorts of um, projects. And for Simeon, we created a double shirt edition, which is inspired by the video, which, which will be online soon. So you have a white shirt and a black shirt, um, which are out now in the shop. You can see all the work we do for bands and the records we put out at www.weriso.com. Or you can see my graphic design work for corporate companies and other, other musicians at katemoross.com. And we have a podcast coming out in um, mid-Feb mid where you can listen to the tracks and learn more about the background of the label and my relationship with the artists that I work with. Many thanks to Kate from Isomorph Records. Uh, time now uh, for this week's number one on the Bedroom Bedlam chart. This is Jay Gabriel, he's a musician uh, from New York, currently studying Germany, and the track is called The Moonlight Slide. Number one on this week's Bedroom Bedlam Shark. Congratulations, we're streaming in full right now at PeteTong.tv. Uh, whilst on the website, you could win yourself a copy of a new Benny Benassi mix CD from Tall Room Nights. Uh, and if, uh, if you can't win, uh, well, you can sample his mixtape because he's been kind enough to leave us one on the exclusive section of our site. And if you go to the VIP section of the site, which is even more exclusive than the exclusive section of the site, uh, you could get an invite to this thing. It's Blinko. It's like Twitter, but it's better. <laughs> and I've got my own channel on it as well. Uh, that's all we've got time for on this week's show. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I'll be back in seven days time with another uh, a kind of screen full of uh, fantastic fandangos and musical tidbits. Yeah.